Today we're going to continue with activity 2.1 need input and we're going to look at a different type of input device known as the accelerometer. Now the accelerometer on your microbit is used to detect changes in speed. The device can detect some standard movements like shake, tilt, or even freefall. To test the microbit accelerometer, you're going to need to complete the acceleration project which uses the accelerometer that is embedded into your microbit. Let's take a closer look at how the accelerometer can be used. The micro bit has input components built onto the microcontroller, which you can use to trigger events or actions in your programs. For example, you can press button A or B to show different faces on the LED grid. On the back of your micro bit, you'll see two sensors that you can use to trigger events or actions. First, there's the compass. This sensor uses the Earth's magnetic field to detect the direction the micro bit is moving. Just next to the compass, you'll see an accelerometer. This sensor detects the speed and motion of the micro bit. You can use the shake code block to trigger program events. The accelerometer then allows you to shake the microcontroller to interact with your program. Can you imagine how you can use a compass or an accelerometer within your programs? What can you create? Now that we know a little bit more about how the compass and accelerometer is used on the microbit, let's take a look at the acceleration project we're going to be completing. We're going to be using the microbit's movement in order to get arrows to point either up, down, left, or right. Now, in order to do that, we need to understand how the accelerometer is used on the microbit. We're going to be focusing on two different axes on the actual microbit. You have your x-axis, which is applied when the microbit is tilted to the left or tilted to the right. And then you have the y-axis when tilted forward or when it's tilted back. Now you have a, both a positive and negative number or value that's being used when tilting that microbit. When a microbit is stationary or perfectly horizontal, both in the Y and X axis, both the Y and X axis are set to zero. When the microbit is tilted to the left, the numbers will decrease and go into that negative range. When we tilt the microbit to the right, the numbers will increase and we will have a positive value. With the microbit tilting forward, we will also gain a negative number. So anytime we take the microbit and tilt it forward, you're going to see those numbers decrease as well, and they should be into that negative range. When tilting the microbit back or closer towards you, the numbers will increase on the y-axis, giving us a positive range. So this is how we're going to use our accelerometer in order to show different arrows. So what we're looking at here is if the micro bit is tilted forward, what we want to see is an arrow pointing up or in the north direction. If the micro bit is tilted backwards, we should see an arrow pointing in the south or down direction. When tilted to the left, we should see our micro bit showing the arrow to the west or left. And when we tilt it to the right, the arrow will point to the east or to the right. If our micro bit is at that perfectly horizontal position, then we're going to go ahead and clear the screen. So we're going to be using multiple conditions here. And as you can see, we're going to be using an if condition and three else if conditions, as well as an else, which will clear our screen. So let's go ahead and open up our Microsoft make code and begin programming our acceleration project. So the first thing we're going to need to do is identify which event handler we're going to be using. In this case, we want our program to continuously check those conditions over and over again. So we're going to go ahead and use a forever loop in order to get our program to begin. So we're going to go ahead and remove this on start and our main focus is going to be on this forever. Now here we have several different conditions. We're going to be using four conditions in all as well as an else statement to clear our screen. So we're going to go ahead into our logic drawer. And from here, we're going to go ahead and bring in this if else. Now we have an if, and that's going to be basically looking at if the micro bit is tilted forward, then we should get that arrow to the north. But we still need to include three additional conditions. 
In order to do that, we're gonna use this plus sign down below. That will add an else if in for us, and we'll need to do that two more times. So here you can see that we have a total of four conditions, and then we have our else, which will be clearing the screen. So the first thing we want to look at here is if the micro bit is tilted forward. So what we're gonna need to do is look at those numbers that we're using. Remember on the micro bit screen, we are using the Y axis to tilt it forward or back. Because of that, we're gonna be using both the positive and negative numbers. If we tilt the micro bit forward, our negatives will decrease. And if we tilt it back, the numbers will increase. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is bring in a logic statement here, and we're gonna need to use this greater or less than symbol. We're gonna need to go to our input drawer and we're gonna find the accelerometer. Now, in this case, we're using acceleration. And because we're looking at getting our micro bit to turn or face the north, we need to change our X axis over to Y. So we're gonna be focusing on the Y axis for the north and south arrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that block and we're gonna go ahead and drop that into the if statement as well as our first else if. So we'll take that guy there, drop him in. Now, in order to get the arrows to point in a specific direction, and that's gonna be the then part of our program, we're gonna go under that basic drawer and what we're gonna look for is show arrow. So we're gonna drop a show arrow north and we can also drop a show arrow to the south. That's gonna basically point our arrow either up or down on the LED screen. Now remember when the micro bit is perfectly flat, the values are zero. So in order to get this to trigger, we're gonna go ahead and say, if the value is less than zero, we probably wanna give this a little bit of a larger range, just so that we can get a little bit of movement in that micro bit. Notice that on the emulator, if I go ahead and tilt it forward, the value on the Y axis is now negative 1,023. We're gonna go ahead and give that a value of, let's say negative 500. So anytime that value is less than negative 500, we should see an arrow to the north. And in order to get it to the south, we're gonna say anytime it is greater than 500. So if we test that in our program here, as you can see, the Y value is at zero right now. If I go ahead and tilt that to the forward position, we get a value of negative 1023. We get the arrow showing north. And if I go to the bottom of the micro bit, it's now gonna be pointing south. Now we're gonna need to duplicate this again for the X axis. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that logic statement that we've created. And I'm gonna change my Y axis over to X. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave that value at negative 500 and drop that into that third uh, conditional statement or second else if. And I'm gonna need to duplicate that one more time. And I'm gonna go ahead and change that less than to a greater than. So now we need this to, in order to show the left or right or east or west arrows. Let's go ahead and plug these guys in. So we'll go ahead and add our east and we'll also need to duplicate that again and we're gonna show that to the west. So now that we have that, we need to look at our micro bit. You'll notice that the X axis is now appearing on the micro bit. We had the Y before, now we have the X. So what we have to look at here is if we wanted to point to the left, my X axis now is negative 1023. So that second else if condition reads, if the acceleration on the X axis is less than negative 500, which it is, it's negative 1023, we should get an arrow to the west. The third else if says, if the acceleration is greater than negative 500, then we show an arrow to the east. We need to change that negative 500 to a positive 500. So just as we did with the south arrow, we want to have a greater than a positive number, which we do now for the east, and we want to have less than a negative number for my north and west. When I do that, what we should now see is if I go to the left, I get the arrow to the west, up to the north, right is to the east, and down is to the south. For that else if, the last thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just simply go ahead and add that clear screen. 
And now we're ready to go ahead and download our program to our microbit to see how it works.